Edinburgh, the historic capital of Scotland, is a city of stunning architecture, fascinating history, and vibrant culture. Spending 48 hours in Edinburgh is a great way to experience the best of what the city has to offer. In this video, we'll give you some ideas for a 48-hour itinerary that will help you make the most of your time in this lovely city. The itinerary will be from morning until night, but of course it may need shuffling depending on when you arrive to and depart from Edinburgh, and we will also offer some alternative suggestions. Let's go! On day one, after some delicious breakfast, walk it off and get in some exercise by hiking up to Arthur's Seat, the extinct volcano that looms over Edinburgh. From the top, you'll be rewarded with panoramic views of the city and beyond. The climb is moderate in difficulty and takes around 45 to 60 minutes, depending on your fitness level and pace. If climbing is not your forte, you can consider instead visiting Princess Street Gardens, a picturesque green space in the heart of the city, or the Meadows, another beautiful public park in the south of the city. If you'd like a smaller climb, head to Colton Hill for lovely views of Edinburgh. Next, head to the historic Edinburgh Castle, which sits atop Castle Rock overlooking the city and is home to the Scottish Crown Jewels and St. Margaret's Chapel, the oldest surviving building in Edinburgh. Be sure also to stay for the shooting of the one o'clock gun. As popular an attraction Edinburgh Castle is, and as much as everyone says that you must visit the castle when you're in Edinburgh, we know that castles might not be everyone's cup of tea, so don't feel pressured to go if you really don't want to. A few alternatives to visiting the castle are, the Scotch Whiskey Experience, an interactive attraction that tells you the story of how whiskey in Scotland is made. Camera Obscura and World of Illusions, a fun attraction with more than five floors of over 100 illusions, and may be especially fun if traveling with kids. And Palace of Holyrood House, the official residence of the British monarch in Scotland. After, head down to the Grass Market via Victoria Street for some lunch. Victoria Street is one of the most photographed streets in Edinburgh and for good reason. Its colourful buildings are said to be the inspiration for Diagon Alley in the Harry Potter series. Grass Market was historically a marketplace as well as a place of public executions. Now you'll find a vibrant area with pubs, hotels and local shops. Now, go back to and walk along the Royal Mile and check out sites like Ramsey Garden, St. Giles Cathedral, and Dunbar's Closed Garden. Make sure you also pop behind some of the winds and closes, which are basically alleyways off the Royal Mile. After that, take a tour of the real Mary King's Close. Although this attraction isn't always at the top of people's list of things to do in Edinburgh, we would highly recommend this guided tour for the history and to help you understand Edinburgh's old town better. After some dinner, take a ghost tour of the city. Edinburgh is said to be one of the most haunted cities in the world, and a ghost tour is a great way to learn all about it. However, if you'd rather not be scared, there are other evening walking tours that might be of interest. Southbridge in Old Town has a series of chambers that are called the Edinburgh Vaults or Southbridge Vaults, which are very interesting as well. On day two, start your day by enjoying some breakfast in or near Edinburgh's new town. After breakfast, visit the Scott Monument, which is dedicated to the famous Scottish author, Sir Walter Scott. You can climb to the top for breathtaking views of the city. After, take a stroll through Princess Street Gardens and enjoy the beautiful views of Edinburgh Castle. Make sure to check out the likes of Gardner's Cottage, Wojtek, the Soldier Bear Memorial, and Ross Fountain. If the weather is unfavorable for being outside, you can consider shopping at the new St. James Quarter on George Street or Maltry's Walk, visiting the Scottish National Gallery on the Mount, which has a large collection of Scottish and international art, or visiting the Scottish National Portrait Gallery on Queen Street, which showcases portraits of famous Scottish figures through history. After some lunch in Newtown, head to the National Museum of Scotland, which is home to a vast collection of artifacts that tell the story of Scotland's history, culture, and people. Some highlights include the stuffed body of Dolly the Sheep, the first cloned mammal, and the Millennium Clock, which combines art and science to depict the passage of time. Other places that you can consider visiting include Surgeons Hall Museums, which shows the history of medicine, surgery, and pathology, or the Royal Botanic Garden, one of the finest botanical gardens in the world and which offers a peaceful escape from the city's hustle and bustle. After dinner, catch a show at one of the city's iconic theatres, such as Edinburgh Playhouse or Festival Theatre. Alternatively, get some laughs at the Stand Comedy Club, which hosts regular comedy nights featuring both up-and-coming and established comedians. And finally, finish the night by visiting some of Edinburgh's many pubs and bars. 
If you'd like more detailed information on this itinerary and its alternatives, including a few restaurant and tour recommendations, then be sure to check out our accompanying blog post, which you'll find in the description below. We also have lots of other Edinburgh videos, which you'll also find in the description below. We hope this gave you some ideas for your trip to Edinburgh. If you have any questions about Edinburgh, let us know in the comments below and we'll be happy to help. Please give this video a like, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you in the next video. On day two, I can't see it. <laughs> the street gardens, I picked out. <laughs> I don't want to film today. The vast collection of artifacts that tell you the story of Scotland. <laughs> After some lunch in. Does it? <laughs>